is the same God who is able to wipe your tears away. Is the same God who was down in time of black and white. Is the same God is Jehovah, my great provider. Tell me why you're giving up on God. Tell me why you're giving up on Him. up on God. Hold up, change is on the way. Ebbs in a cuckoo non so, okay me bun so buni, in balanti a tigide. One demo, she des say ke, he try a die, she can give ya sassy, I got deal. Your hands and give him praise for oh, 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 oh. yes, Jesus Christ, I want to appreciate the Lord this very hour. Lord, I thank you and lift up your name on high for you alone. You're wonderful. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for yet another hour, another moment. Lord, I adore you this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for what you're going to do this very hour. Thank you for what you started. Lord, you are wonderful. You are holy. You are mighty. You are excellent. Be thou glorified this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for those who are watching this very hour. Thank you for their families. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your protection over their lives. Lord, I bless your name, O oh Lord. Spirit of the living God, I have your way this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glorify Jesus Christ and amiss this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every power here by present this hour, I arrest you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I return you back to hell this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are not permitted this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This hour belongs to the children of the Most High God. So this is our hour this very time. Every meeting, every gathering that is not of God, I scatter you by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Father. 
in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory, great things He has done. I want to appreciate every single one of you today. Hallelujah. Today being the third night, I appreciate you and God appreciates you more in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bright Canada, Esther, Felix, Dingeso, God bless you. Bakri Deora, God bless you. Hallelujah. It is well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Julu Waters here on the God bless you. Tracy, it is well with you. Yemisi Odun, God bless you. Quincy Diamond, it is well. Efe, God bless you. Blessing God, the favor of God bless you real, real good. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to another wonderful, exciting, and a glorious hour. Hallelujah. A lot of people call for testimonies. Hallelujah. And I know it's your turn and your time today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't be angry. Your testimony is right at the, cor at the corner of your, uh, right beside you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So do not be angry today. You are going to testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord is your strength in the name of Jesus. Today being the third night, hallelujah, and I appreciate God concerning our life. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Today being the third night, and I know by the special grace of God, wonderful things, glorious things are going to happen in our life today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, great deliverance, hallelujah, divine touch of the Lord upon our person today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord is coming upon our life today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Unkechi Una from Nigeria, appreciate you. God bless you. As the family doing, Kate, God bless you real good. Romeo Moses, I appreciate God in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today being the third night, hallelujah. That today being the third night, what a glorious day. What a wonderful hour. What a loving God, hallelujah. We serve a good God, we serve a loving God, we serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. And the glorious and the mighty God is going to move in our life today. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither does he enter into the heart of man what Jehovah will do in our life today. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who said the cup is free is going to free us today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From every satanic undriving, from every reproach, from every shame, God is going to set us free this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because like I said earlier on, this era is our era, hallelujah. The powers of the wicked are not permitted to move this hour. They are not permitted to fly. They are not permitted to hold a meeting right now because we hold this very hour in Christ and God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So all other powers are arrested this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are locked down this very hour permanently until the day of judgment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God be all the glory, great things He has done in our lives, in your lives, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Day three, hallelujah. What a glorious day, what a powerful day, what a, 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 a sweet day. Hallelujah. But tonight, hallelujah, tonight we want to actually go into the book of First Chronicles. A number of us, we, we do know about this very word. is about the life of Jonah. Hallelujah. But I'm not actually preaching on the uh, uh, life of Jabez. Hallelujah. But I'm not actually preaching on Jabez. I just want to actually portray a few things out there. Hallelujah. Tonight is going to be a prayer of Jabez must be on ground tonight. He must be honored. Hallelujah. Tonight. Because honestly, when you look at the life of this very brother as well, he experienced limitation in life. He experienced the spirit of snail and life hallelujah while other brothers are actually moving forward while friends are moving forward while family members are actually attaining and moving forward Jabez was being held down hallelujah because of the spirit of limitation because of the spirit of snail hallelujah today hallelujah we're going to experience and we're going to actually study a little bit of this very word hallelujah the prayer of Jabez hallelujah must be on ground tonight hallelujah in our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Life is a journey when we stop. Hallelujah. Our life is a journey. So when we stop, things go, things do go right. Hallelujah. When we stop this journey, things don't go right. Hallelujah. Life is a journey. And when we stop, things don't go right. Hallelujah. Jabez actually experienced life. Hallelujah. The time and notice and notice that things they, when he stopped, things started going wrong. Hallelujah. Today we'll go on good with the Lord. And Jehovah is going to honor us this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
first chronicles chapter 4 in verse 10 that is what we want to read the book of first chronicles chapter 4 in verse 10 i read by the special grace of god and may the lord bless his reading this very hour in the name of the lord jesus christ first chronicles chapter 4 in verse 10 and jabez called on on the on the god of israel saying O lord that you would bless me indeed and, and enlarge my territory that your hand would be with me and you will keep me from evil that I may cause that may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested for. Hallelujah. Actually, Jabez actually requested for five things here. Hallelujah. And honestly, every one of us today, by the special grace of God, we are going before the Lord in order to request for this very wonderful five things. First and foremost, Jabez says something. He said, bless me indeed. To everyone that is watching me this very hour, God is going to bless you indeed today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the blessing that you yourself, you thought within yourself that can never happen the testimony that you thought can that can never showcase today by the special grace of god blessing is coming upon your life today and god is not only just to bless you god is going to bless you indeed in the name of the lord jesus christ jabe said lord bless me indeed hallelujah i so much strongly need this blessing and i want this blessing to be blessed to be for you to bless me indeed and the other word jabe said unto the lord jabe said enlarge my coast hallelujah he needed a, a very big a very mighty territory hallelujah Jabe said enlarge my coast in a nutshell wherever i move whatever i touch god almighty that that is uh, whatever I, wherever i go and whatever i touch the blessing of the lord is upon it today by the special grace of god every single one of you that is watching me right now god is going to enlarge your coast this morning in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ even before the end of this program you're going to feel the effect in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ you are going to feel the effect in your life in your situations around you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ and jabez said the third one jabez said god's hand will be with me he actually needed the hands of the lord upon him right now today by the special grace of god the hand of the lord is upon you this very hour in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ wherever you go his presence is with you in the name of the lord jesus christ he said my presence will go with you and my presence will give you rest so by the special grace of God, I command the hand of the Lord upon every soul, every man, every woman that is watching me this very hour, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you experience the hand of the Lord, you experience divine supernatural things. Hallelujah. And it's coming upon you this very hour, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And number four, Jabez said, keep me from evil. Hallelujah. More or less, no evil will come upon me, in the name of the Lord. When we are talking about evil, we are talking about every presence of the devil the, the, the devil said no i don't want the praise of the devil i don't want the praise of his cohorts i don't want whatever is called evil he said lord keep me from all evil today by the special grace of god jehovah is going to keep you and i from all evil in the name of the lord jesus christ god is going to keep us from all evil in the name of the lord jesus christ it might be the ones in the family it might be the ones amongst our friends today by the special grace of god jehovah is going to keep us from all evil in the name of the lord jesus christ and the fifth one that Jabez actually talked about it was uh, not not for me. He said, Lord, I refuse to grieve. Hallelujah. Lord, I refuse to grieve. Hallelujah. That I may not cause pain. Hallelujah. Today, by the special grace of God, you will not grieve. Hallelujah. You will not cause pain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even for this very pandemic that is out there, the deadly disease and the, and the death, you will not cause pain. Sickness will not come in your dwelling. Death will not come upon your household in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible actually ended with the word, and God granted him what he requested for today by the special grace of God. From this very hour into the time we go into prayer, God is granting you every of your requests, whatever comes out from your mouth that relates to your desire. Jehovah will honor you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because tonight is your time, today being the third day and the final day of our three day program, we started on Wednesday, Thursday, and today is Friday. Jehovah is going to honor you in the name of Jesus because you have deprived yourself of sleep this very hour. God in his infinite mercy is coming upon you in your situation. He's coming to set you free, take you out from that merry clay and place you on the throne where you expected to see in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ where no arm will touch you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where God himself will bless you indeed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ where God will enlarge your coast in the name of the Lord
Lord Jesus Christ, a place where the hands of the Lord will be on with you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, an environment whereby no evil will come near your dwelling in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and there should be no pain, there will be no death, more or less you will not mourn in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So such an environment is coming upon your life this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me well to everyone that is watching me before we engage into this very prayer. The distance between your dream and reality is called action. Hallelujah. Everyone today, let there be action in your life today. You want to attain and you want to possess every of your possession. And let me tell you the, the distance between your dream and your reality is action. Hallelujah. So you need to stand firm this very morning and you want to tell the Lord, no matter what it takes, I know God, God in his infinite mercy, the glory and the praise of the Lord is down here on ground and is going to support you and you are taking what belongs to you by force and by fire back in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Devil will, devil will not take you for granted again. If devil has been taking you for granted today by the special grace of God, a release is coming upon your life because you will come with fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You've come in the power of God. Hallelujah. Into every areas of your life, into every avenues of your life, you are taking back what belongs to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me well, everyone that is looking here or listening to me right now. You cannot you cannot be a gentle man or a gentle woman in the realm of the spirit. You can never be gentle in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. You don't go to war being gentle. Hallelujah. Today, by the special grace of God, we are entering into a sphere, into a realm whereby it's a realm of the spirit, into a realm that the spirit and what is happens in the realm of the spirit determine the natural. So we are going into the realm of the spirit right now. Like I said earlier on, you cannot be gentle in the realm of the spirit. You cannot go into warfare as gentle. Hallelujah. Hear me well. There's a song which we all know. I know be gentleman at all. Hallelujah. Hey, everyone that is hearing me, I want to tell you, you know be gentleman at all tonight. You are not gentleman at all this very night. Hallelujah. You are entering into the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. With the power of the Holy Ghost, whereby God, the God himself, your support. The power of the Lord goes into there with you and you are getting every of your right back this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like I said, I know be gentleman at all. Everyone that is hearing me right now, tonight is your night and you are going into the realm of the spirit not being gentle at all. Because like I said, I have never seen anyone that is gentle on the war front. Hallelujah. No, you are, you are trained to kill tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because God has actually ordained your mouth right now to decree it in and God said, I will hear you. Hallelujah. Decree it in and it shall be established. So you are going into the realm of the spirit as a, as a, not as a gentle man, not as a gentle woman to actually recover all this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you are recovering all, hallelujah, you are recovering more than enough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what will last you till, for, till eternity in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because tonight is going to be wonderful. Tonight is going to be a very great hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't go to warfare as a gentleman and I want to tell you again and no be gentleman at all. Hallelujah. When it comes to spiritual warfare, we are not gentle. Hallelujah. Elijah was never gentle. When he entered into spiritual warfare, hallelujah, he was never gentle. Hallelujah. With the, with the, with the prophet of Baal, he was never gentle in First Kings chapter 18 when you study from 38, uh, 37 to 38. First Kings chapter 18 from 37 to 38. Elijah called the fire of God down and the Bible says fire came down. Gentleness don't call fire down. Hallelujah. Or gentility can never call fire down. This is a warfare. He was actually faced with the prophets of Baal and they were actually doing their own thing. Elijah was just, just looking at them. But when his time came, he was very violent in the spirit and Elijah decreed fire down in 1 Kings chapter 18 in verse 37 to 38. Elijah called the fire down and the Bible says that the fire came down and the fire licked the waters. Hallelujah. Today by the special grace of God, we are calling the fire of the Holy Ghost down right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says for our God is a consuming fire because God is actually entering into the realm of the spirit with us into that very situation, into that very battle today. The fire of God is coming down and is going to destroy every nooks and crony of wherever the witches and the wizards are riding, wherever those powers are actually hiding, the fire of God will fetch them out, the fire of God will search them out, and the fire of God will devour them 
during this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Elijah was never gentle at all. Like I said, Elijah wasn't gentle. He called the fire down the same way Elisha was never gentle in the realm of the spirit in 2 Kings as well. 2 Kings chapter 2 when you study 24, hallelujah, right from 24 or downward, you will see that Elisha called actually called out beers hallelujah and beers devour bear devour 24 youths hallelujah because they called him bald head hallelujah elisha had bald he was bald hallelujah and the youth started making fun of him they in the well in the realm of the spirit in the warfare elisha was never gentle he called on to the on to bear and the bible said a female bear came out and devoured these 42 youths hallelujah so you are not entering into warfare as a pity as pitying someone hallelujah even christ said pity is hidden from me jesus christ said fear god said pity is hidden from me today pity is hidden from you today in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ because those that are afflicting you never pitied you so you are entering into that warfare right now and pity is hidden from you tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ paul and Silas were never gentle hallelujah in act of the apostles chapter 16 when you study 25 and 26 the bible said when paul and Silas started praying hallelujah and suddenly suddenly it's going to take place in your life this very hour and suddenly hallelujah there was a great earthquake suddenly it's coming upon your life today as you enter into this very warfare this this power of suddenly is coming upon your life today that you have never experienced the bible said when paul and Silas started praying out of the apostles chapter 16 in verse 25 26 the bible said and suddenly there was a great earthquake that shook the foundation of the prison hallelujah wherever they've locked you down tonight by the reason of the anointing the power of suddenly is coming upon your life today hallelujah and it's going to shake the foundation of that prison and it's going to set you free tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ imagine paul and salas praying in the middle of the night like this very special hour that we have gathered on to the law this is the same hour that they gather we've also gathered in, in, in the lord so the power of suddenly is coming upon the life the power of suddenly is going to shake all prisons right now it's is going to set you free and the foundation of that prison is going to collapse in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah even at the beautiful gate hallelujah peter actually did something that was you know he did something that was so uh, uh, special hallelujah he was he was angry in the spirit hallelujah in the book of acts of the apostles chapter 3 in verse 6 the bible says when peter saw this lame man at the beautiful gate he said silver and gold i have none but what i have i will give unto you and he said in the name of the lord jesus christ rise up and war what peter did that was that peter actually pulled the man off hallelujah that is the realm of the spirit everyone that actually is in the realm of the spirit you are very very angry in that realm because that realm is a spiritual warfare and that realm is not a joke it's not meant for gentle people hallelujah that realm is very serious so peter actually pulled this particular guy off he was in his hand he was saying what's wrong with you you are healed and you're still sitting oh boy just get up he pulled him off that was the realm of the spirit and immediately the man started walking Walking. hallelujah today by the special grace of god the hand of the lord is going to pull you up you have been sitting there for a very long time hallelujah you're actually you're actually sitting in your comfort zone and when you're a comfort zone comfort zone is not that good when you're a comfort zone you welcome every power into that very scenario as well today by the special grace of god even in your comfort zone tonight jehovah is going to pull you up in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ god is going to pull you up in your comfort zone in the mighty name of the lord jesus Jesus Christ. Even in Matthew chapter 21, Matthew chapter 21, when you study 12 and 13, Jesus Christ actually did the same thing. When he entered into the temple, he saw people that were selling and buying, selling those and buying those. He said, my father's house shall be a, 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 a house of prayer. Hallelujah. That you guys have turned into den of robbers. Hallelujah. And he scattered every place there. That also was in the realm of the spirit. He looked at, it, at that very scenario, at that very hour, he was not seeing the physical thing. He was seeing buying and selling in the church of god that's still going on in the in the church of god till today buying and selling this church of god one day when i'm talking about buying and selling about gossiping uh, or you know strife hatred and anger these are buying and selling i'm not talking about clothes or anything he saw all this in the church hallelujah today by the special grace of god every buying and selling that is taking place in your life this very hour today by the reason of the anointing i scatter them right now by the fire of the holy ghost right now in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ 
I scatter them this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The realm of the spirit is not meant for weak people. Today, Jehovah will strengthen you. The power of the living God will come upon your life today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even in Judges chapter 16, the book of Judges chapter 16, in the in verse 3, in the life of Samson, the Bible says, and Samson went in the night. Hallelujah. Samson pulled up the two gates of the city and placed on his shoulder one gate here and the other one here and he was actually moving. Oh, hallelujah. These are the realm of the spirit. He pulled the gates of the city down. The Bible says the iron gates of the city. Very powerful gate. Samson placed one on the left shoulder and the other one on the right hand. Hallelujah. Today by the special grace of God as you are entering into that realm right now because you have the backing of the Lord, because you have the support of the Lord, because his presence is always with you. You are pulling every gates down this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are breaking every yokes and every shackles right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The gates of the city that does not permit you or doesn't give you the right to enter into the city today by the reason of the anointing, that gate shall be pulled down tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also in the life of David and Goliath. Hallelujah. David and Goliath. I'm, being, I'm still citing samples here. In the life of David and Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17 when you study 1 Samuel chapter 17 from 45. Hallelujah. David said something. He said, Goliath, you okay? You, you are here to defile the armies of the living God. Hallelujah. He said, you are here and you are here to defile the armies of the living God. Hallelujah. This word was not carnal. It wasn't a carnal word. It was a, a, a realm of a, a spirit word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who serve the Lord must serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. It wasn't a carnality. It was never a carnal word. He said, you are here to defile the armies of the living God. It was a realm of the spirit. Today, by the special grace of God, it doesn't matter those by that that might have been defiling you, those that have been saying things about you, today as you enter into that realm, your Goliaths are falling tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your David is strengthened tonight and your Goliath are falling down tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your David is strengthened tonight and your Goliath, Goliath are falling in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Revelation chapter 12 in verse 7, the Bible says, and there was war in heaven. Hallelujah. War broke up in heaven. So to tell you that even in heaven, there was war. Hallelujah. That was in the realm of the spirit. Even in heaven, there was war. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 12 in verse 7, the Bible said, even in heaven, war broke up. But I want to thank God for the same verse 12. Hallelujah. The Bible is verse 11. Revelation chapter 7, war broke up. But in Revelation chapter 12 in verse 7, 11, the Bible says something. And they overcame me by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Today, you are an overcomer. You are overcoming today by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Today, by the special grace of God, in the realm of the Spirit, there is no gentle man. There is no gentle woman. You are entering into that realm right now with determination, with assurance right now that everything that you have ever wanted in life, you are taking it back. You are taking your glory back. You are taking your destiny back. You are taking your joy back. You are taking your testimony back. You are taking your favor back. The grace of God is coming back to your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall be recognized again. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the last one, even Jesus Christ, when he was tempted by the devil. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter chapter 4 in verse 10 when he was tempted by the devil the bible said from verse from verse 1 it said he was led into the into the into the wilderness to be tempted when he was tempted of the devil the bible says something happened and uh, and uh, god, i believe god was just actually looking at jesus christ when he was when when the devil was actually uh, uh, messing up hallelujah he said something he was saying command this stone and everything but later on god jesus christ just looked at it and said what's wrong with this what's wrong with this, this devil hallelujah you don't don't you know that i actually formed you I created you. Hallelujah. Uh, he said, I created you. So what is your big deal? What is your problem? He was saying, what is wrong with this devil? Hallelujah. I created you. And you shall serve the Lord, the only the Lord your God. Hallelujah. And only you shall serve. And when he said that immediately, that was a word from the Lord. When he said that, the con there was no there was no, no, no conversation any longer. And at that very hour, the, the, the tempter left him. He left because that word actually proved all. And in John 
chapter 10 in verse 10 the bible said in john chapter 10 in verse 10 the bible says the thief does not come to steal does not come except to steal the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy today by the special grace of god every power of hell that has come into your life that has come to steal to kill and to destroy today they are going to be disgraced tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ by the power of the living god by the blood of the lord jesus christ they are going to be disgraced tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i want every single one of us to equip ourselves hallelujah in first peter chapter 5 the book of first peter chapter 5 in verse 8 the bible says be sober be vigilant hallelujah he said be sober be vigilant because your adversary the one who normally looks at you when you are uh, 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 making you to fall sin of, of sin he said your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion it is the devil is not a lion is like a roaring lion and the lion of the tribe of judah is coming out tonight is going to roar hallelujah the bible says the devil is walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour hear me well i hear something in the realm of the spirit the bible says seeking whom he may devour you are going into the realm of the spirit you are the one that is going to devour tonight because as you enter into that realm the lion of the tribe of judah is entering with you this very hour in the name of the lord jesus christ and the lion of the tribe of Duda is going to devour every power standing on your way every mountain standing before you every wall standing before you are coming down tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ they are coming down tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ every satanic limitation in your life are coming down tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every spirit of snail are coming down tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ when you have such a spirit in your life hallelujah with people will you will you begin to miss uh, every important uh, uh, your timing hallelujah you begin to miss your uh, timing hallelujah the timing that will make you great that will do you great but today by the special grace of god your time is going to be perfect you will be at the right place at the right time in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ to everyone that is actually being affected with this very spirit of snail helpers are always very very something bad always happened to their helper at the time of breakthrough their helper will be sick their helper might even be admitted to the hospital hallelujah these are the ones that have the, the these are the spirit the spirit snail hallelujah today by the special grace of god your helpers will locate you tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ before the sun set tomorrow by the reason of the anointing your helper will search you out your helper will see you and your helper will help you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ a number of people that have been affected by this very snail spirit hallelujah they are always among among groups they are the one amongst people probably a lot of people they are the ones always spotted out to be questioned hallelujah they will always question them even if they do nothing amongst amongst people amongst group they are the one people they will section out and question today by the special grace of god i want to tell you you are in the right path today you're on the right path today the glory of the lord is with you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ there is what is called a spiritual limitation hallelujah today by the special grace of god every spiritual limitations in your life are destroyed by the blood of the lord jesus christ tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ we're going to engage into spiritual warfare very soon but i want to tell you about the spiritual limitation there is what is called a spiritual limitation for you to understand spiritual limitation when you start the book of isaiah isaiah chapter 6 in verse 1 hear me well in the year king uzziah died you see i want to i want to rephrase that when i was studying it i said wow in the year king uzziah died the bible said isaiah said i saw the lord sitting on the throne i and lifted up and the dream of his robe filled the temple in the year king uzziah died there was a limitation there until when king uzziah died that isaiah could be able to to actually see the lord sitting on the throne there was a spiritual limitation there it was way after the death of king uzziah that is uh, isaiah was able to see the, the the lord sitting on the throne this was a spiritual limitation the prophet's vision of god has been limited until the year king uzziah died hallelujah his vision was limited it was the vision was limited was being held down spiritually until the year king uzziah died and it was after that year that he died that his vision the vision came to pass today every spiritual limitations in your life hallelujah i command them this hour to let go right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i break the yoke holding you down by the power in the blood of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and 
and there is what is called a mind limitation a mind limitation that is your mind people's mind can actually limit them hallelujah hear me well I, I, i'm of out of out of 12 people that actually went to the promised land to go and look for the the, the greener pastures where god promised them that a land that flows with milk and honey hallelujah 12 out of 10 i have 12 uh, uh, 12 people that went 10 said that the land is full or is we have giants there that they are grasshopper thank god for caleb caleb actually someone came and said no 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 let us go there hallelujah these are these are these are limitation of the mind hallelujah in the book of our numbers chapter 13 in verse 28 let me quickly nevertheless these people dwell in the land are strong and the city are fortified and very large moreover we saw the descendant of anak there the descendant of anak are descendant of giant imagine a land god actually told them that flows will make an honey they they have the spiritual limitation a mind limitation hallelujah they actually their mind actually limited everything limit limit their growth hallelujah they are moving forward and in verse 33 then we saw the giant they said the land was wonderful the environment was good but we saw the giant the descendant of the anna came from the giant hallelujah and we were like grasshoppers in our own side and so we were in their side look at this very 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 limitation of the mind they saw themselves as grasshoppers and they saw the enemies as giant hallelujah but i thank the lord in verse 30 of the same word in numbers chapter 13 in verse 30 the bible says then caleb quieted the people hallelujah i want to tell every man every woman that is watching me right now irrespective of whatever you are seeing before you right now i am quieting you right now i am sealing your mouth right now you are not a grasshopper hallelujah you are equipped you are empowered you are children sons and daughters of the living god in that same in that same numbers chapter 13 in verse 30 the bible says and caleb quieted the people before moses and said let us go up at once and take possession for we are able to overcome it i want to tell you people can stand like giant after all goliath stood before david as giant but david brought him down today by the special grace of god there is no giant in your on your promised land every giant that's in your promised land today you are actually it is your promised land it is your land that flows with milk and honey. Every jam that has been intimidating you, that has been disturbing you, that has been depriving you of your promised land. Today, giants are falling tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Irrespective of their height, irrespective of whatever they do. When I'm talking about giants, I'm talking about powers that are holding you down. Powers that are actually limiting you, giving the limitation of the of the mind. Today, the giants, the powers on your land, in your land right now, they are falling right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is your time. It is your hour. Today, honestly speaking, I want to tell every man, every man that is watching me right now, it is your time. It is your hour. You are entering, you are going before into your promised land. You are actually entering that land right now. And every giant are going to be like grasshoppers before you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because victory is yours tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because victory is yours tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah chapter 33 in jeremiah 33 when you study verse 12 jeremiah chapter 33 when you study verse 12 the bible says thus says the lord of hosts hallelujah he had this very well he said in this place which is desolate the word desolate says barren a land that is barren in this place which is desolate more or less you they, they thought you are finished hallelujah they thought you are finished they actually placed you hear me well i want to actually interpret that very word holy spirit help me out he said in this place which is desolate hallelujah the word desolate a barren land a land that can never produce hallelujah the enemy thought he has actually they placed you on that very land on that very ground hallelujah that is desolate the land that is barren the land that is not productive the land can that can never yield your movement and grow that are being in that hallelujah they said in this place which is desolate hallelujah wherever you are right now the the, the enemy said no you that the, your enemy has the, 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 the finished you they've placed you in this place and the bible says thus said the law in the place they've placed you that they call desolate god said without man and without beast no one has ever come into that place no one ever come around you to actually help you or to lift you up no man no beast has ever come near you to help you or to lift you up they actually placed you there and they said in their heart it is finished concerning that man it is finished it's finished concerning that woman and god said the bible says thus said the law in this place that is desolate without man and without beast and god
God said, and in all the cities, nobody to help at all. God said, and in all the cities, and God said something. A promise came from the Lord. An assurance came from the Lord. A very guaranteed word from the Lord that, that for you and I, the place they have actually put you, the place they have actually placed you that is desolate and they thought nothing good can ever come out of your Israel. God now said, a promise came from the Lord. God said, there shall again be a dwelling place for shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. Hallelujah. More or less, God said, that desolate place, that place that is called barren, he said, they shall again be a dwelling place for shepherds causing their flocks to lie, to lie down. And when we're talking about a place causing their flocks to lie, their, their, their flocks to lie, it's more or less a place right now, a fertile ground. Hallelujah. Whereby sheep can actually eat a fertile ground. We are, we are shepherds who cause their flocks to lie down and there will be sufficiency. Hallelujah. Today, by the special grace of God, that place they said they've placed you that you cannot move forward again in life. That place they said they've placed you that help can no longer locate you. That place they said you can never do anything or attain to anything in life. God said, Where you are seated right now, God said, In that very place, God says, There shall again be a dwelling place. It's going to be a dwelling place whereby shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. Hallelujah. Today, by the special grace of God, we have they have placed you right now in that very position. Your joy is coming out from there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your testimony is coming out of there. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord and the praise of the Lord is coming out of there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes it is the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. It is the journey that, that you embark on that actually teaches you a lot about your destination. Hallelujah. To everyone that is actually on the journey right now, it is a journey that will now teach you a lot about your destination. Hallelujah. In Ezekiel chapter 34, Ezekiel chapter 34, in verse 26, the Bible, God said, I will make them, you and I. Imagine, God said, I will make you and I. God said, it's going to make you and I tonight. Tonight, the word of the Lord is coming to pass in your life. God said, I will, it will make you and I. You and I, your family member, everyone that is watching me right now, your, your family members, your brand sisters, you yourself, your dwelling, God said, it will make you and I. The place of all, all around my ear is a blessing. God said, all around our ear is going to be blessing. All around us is going to be blessing. All around our family is going to be blessing. God said, this is what it's going to do tonight. This is what it's going to cause to happen tonight. He said, and I will cause showers to come down upon you in their season. Hallelujah. More or less, every season they are honored. Hallelujah. God said, I will cause showers to come down upon you and I in their season. So everything will, will honor season. Hallelujah. Everything will honor season. God said, I will cause showers to come down in their season. And there shall be showers of blessing. So tonight, by the special grace of God, I want to tell you, there shall be showers of blessing in your life, in my life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything I can see, everything turning around in our lives today, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Under this very three-day program, I can see everything turning around in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, in the book of Philippians chapter 4 in verse 8. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4 in verse 8. I want every single one of you to free yourself from limitation. No one can hold you down except you desire it in your life. No one can cage you down except you want to be caged. Hallelujah. And if you are being caged right now, if you are being held down right now, the power of the law. I usher in the power of the law to that place right now. I send for the Shekinah glory of the law. The power that, act, that resurrected Christ from the dead to release you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Free yourself from limitation today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have the power to move around. You have the power to recover all. Tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 4 in verse 8. If the Bible says finally. Brethren, I want to tell you. The Bible says finally brethren whatever things that is true. Hallelujah. This is how to free yourself. Whatever things that is true. Whatever things that is noble. Whatever things that is just. Whatever things that are pure. Whatever things that are lovely. Whatever things that are of good report. If there is any virtue. If there is anything praiseworthy. Meditate on this. So in the nutshell, many things of things that are things that are good, things that are things that are just, these are things that are pure. Hallelujah. These are areas whereby you free yourself. And today, by the special grace of God, Jehovah will free you tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mercy is, mercy is on ground concerning your life. Mercy is on ground concerning my life tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want to ask you a question. Are you now ready to go before the Most High God? You are not going as a gentleman. You are not going as a gentleman into the 
realm of the spirit and no be gentleman at all you are not a gentleman at all you are not a gentleman at all you are not a gentleman at all and no be gentleman at all no, at all at all we are actually entering into that realm right now and we are recovering all tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ as you hear me right now I want to go before the most high god Let's begin to ask for the mercy of the law. Let's begin to ask for the mercy of the law in all in every areas of our life right now. If we know we are sinners, oh Lord, Father Lord Almighty, we ask for mercy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will say you have mercy on who you have mercy upon. Father, concern and life this hour, oh Lord. Father, forgive us this hour. Forgive me, oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I need your mercy this very hour, oh Lord. It is your mercy that I need, oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Without your mercy, oh Lord, prayer will not, will not move. So that it is very our O oh Lord, Father, an hour, O oh Lord, set aside for you, O oh Lord, to worship you and to praise you. That I, it's your mercy that I need, O oh Lord. Father, Lord Almighty, have mercy, O oh Lord. Father, Lord Almighty, O oh, upon us, O oh Lord, forgive us this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the love of those who are watching me right now, Daddy, I call for your mercy on ground right now in our life this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Daddy, forgive us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have mercy, O oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's just go before the most high God. Let's just begin to give God the glory right now you deserve all the glory you deserve all the honor let's just go before him right now begin to begin to give him all the glory begin to give him all the honor we bless your name oh lord we give you praise oh lord we bless you lord you are holy and forever you are god we appreciate you lord oh give thanks unto the lord for his good for his mercies endure it forever we bless you oh lord we adore you oh lord you are wonderful god you are a good god you are a loving god because this very hour oh lord we bless your name oh lord we trust you what are you going to do in tonight oh lord we are appreciating you from the bottom of our heart oh lord daddy lord almighty we lift you up oh lord you alone you are god generation comes and go you remain the same you cannot change you are god begin to give him all the glory begin to give him all the praise tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ because jehovah is about to do wonderful things in our life tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ yokes are broken chains are going to be broken tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ deliverance is going to be in the house right now in the name of the lord jesus christ and you want to go before the most high god you want to tell the lord daddy empower me tonight oh lord father lord almighty empower me tonight oh lord call for the presence of the holy spirit right now upon your person right now so that you you pray with power and with, with power and with fire of the holy ghost in the name of the lord jesus christ let me tell you one thing oil if god has given you this gift as well you have this gift with you hallelujah because god has forgiven us so you want to command the gift of the lord the power to pray and to break through you begin to decree upon your person right now that the moment you open your mouth hallelujah is going to come with authority with fire right now in the name of the lord jesus christ when you decree a thing god will honor in the name of the lord jesus christ tell the lord father lord my speak to me oh lord use my mouth oh lord father lord my tonight oh lord father lord my when i decree it in daddy honor this hour in the name of the lord jesus christ daddy in the realm of the spirit oh lord i refuse to be afflicted in the name of the lord jesus christ i refuse to be held down in the name of the lord jesus christ i refuse to be chained down in the name of the lord jesus christ as i journey into this very realm oh lord holy spirit follow me right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i welcome the presence of the lord right now in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ begin to ask for the presence of the lord right now to enter into this realm with you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ ask for the presence of the lord in the name of the lord jesus christ lord almighty i ask for your presence oh lord to enter into this very realm with me in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ the battle said for the lord is our battle as our weapon of warfare with him will destroy nations with him we pull down kingdom so we are entering into this battle into this warfare right now with the lord right now it is god that is going to do something it's god that is going to fight for us we wholly hold our peace but by holding our peace we want to report the situation unto the lord we need to report that situation unto the lord and god is the one that will fight the battle while we watch and wait and see hallelujah because i know tonight victory is ours in the name of the lord jesus christ i know tonight victory is ours in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ so daddy in the love of those who are watching right now over in my life in our family this hour oh lord father i build the wall of fire around us this hour in the name of the lord jesus christ no weapon formed of fashion against us shall prosper in the name of jesus every tongue that rises up against us in judgment i condemn this hour in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i surround everyone right now with fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree your atmosphere to be stable in christ in god in the name of the lord jesus christ i soak your houses right now in the pool of the blood of jesus in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone that 
that is around you right now i cover them full of the blood of jesus your children your husband your wives yourself i saw them full of the blood of jesus your family member i saw them full of the blood of jesus no arrows of doubt of the enemy will come near you tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ every doubt and arrow of the enemy i return them back to sender in the name of the lord jesus christ for god has given us the authority tonight so we claim it and we receive it authority to decree a thing and it shall be established as we decree a thing tonight oh lord father it is settled in the name of the lord jesus christ both in the physical and the realm of the spirit that it is settled in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ now we want to go before the most high god we want to pray concerning our situation this very hour we want to put a stop to certain things in our life right now we want to go before the most high god we want to command we want to command the presence of the holy ghost right now to deliver to actually deliver us our destiny from the hands of the secret places right now in the name of the lord jesus christ our destiny has been held down in secret places we want to ask for the holy ghost fire right now to go forth right now to deliver our destiny from secret places right now we are the way they have been locked down go before the most high god and begin to tell the lord father lord almighty my destiny oh lord that has been held down in secret places lord holy ghost fire go forth right now and begin to set us free set my destiny free in the name of the lord jesus christ that is your right that is your possession that is you your destiny is you so right now go before the most high god and begin to tell the lord that it is very our own oh lord every of my day my destiny that is held down in the secret places let the fire of the lord release it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ fire of the lord release it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ my destiny in secret places right now our destiny has been held down i command the fire of the lord to release it right now in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ fire of the lord release it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ holy ghost fire release our destiny right now that has been held down in the name of the lord jesus christ release our destiny right now you are not a gentleman on the warfare you are not a gentleman on the war front you are not a gentleman also in the realm of the spirit so right now you want to go before the most high god you want to tear everything down every of my destiny that has been held down in the secret place right now i command the fire of the lord right now to release it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ to everyone that is hear me right now go before the most high god be very aggressive right now in the realm of the spirit right now let the devil look at you and notice that yeah you enter into that realm with the presence of the holy spirit so right now you want to go before the most high god your destiny has been held down in secret places right now command the fire of the lord to tear that place down right now in the name of the lord jesus christ let there be a release right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you want to go before the most high god this very hour any agent of darkness assigned to delay your my promotion my due promotion and celebration command the fire of god upon you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ to every agent of darkness that is assigned to delay to delay my due promotion and my celebration command the fire of the lord right now in the name of the lord jesus christ if there are agents of, of darkness right now that has been assigned in order to delay my due promotions and my, my celebration in life i decree the fire of the lord right now command the fire of the lord right now upon that situation right now in the name of the lord jesus christ my due promotion shall not be delayed my celebration shall not be delayed in the name of the lord jesus christ i ask the fire of the lord to arrest that agent right now change that agent of darkness down right now onto the day of judgment in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ go before the most high god to everyone that's watching me right now or hear me right now every agent of death every agent of death the agent of darkness has signed right now in order to delay your due promotion or your celebration right now i command the fire of the lord upon such an agent right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree the holy ghost fire upon that agent right now in the name of the lord jesus christ your due promotion shall not be delayed your testimony shall not be delayed your celebration shall not be delayed in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ go before the most high god begin to deliver that word right now tell the lord right now that it concerning my life that it concerning my situation right now everyone that is assigned in order to delay my due promotion any power that is assigned in order to delay my celebration today i command the fire of the lord upon it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ just go before the most high god begin to decree right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you want to command the fire of god upon every spirit of snail dominating the career of your children go before the most high god command the fire of the lord upon every spirit of snail that is dominating the career of your children this hour in the name of the lord jesus christ when i'm talking about career of the children you are a certain children are in school they are more or less failing they are more or less very troublesome they don't actually listen to the, to, to, to the teacher they fight in school these are these are a spirit of snail dominating their career he actually never wanted this children he never wants the children to ever attain or achieve in life so you want to go before the most high god you want to command the fire of the law upon every snail spirit that is dominating dominating the career of your children this hour in the name of the lord jesus
Jesus Christ. Rain the fire of the Lord right now. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire upon every power, upon every spirit of snail that is dominating the career of my children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot touch the career of my children. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to every power that is dominating the career of my children this hour, rain the fire of God upon you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Go before the Most High God. Command the fire of the Lord right now to destroy any power given the mandate to cause an inner progress in our life. Holy Ghost fire destroy it. Any power that has been given the mandate to cause cause to to, to to cause us and to hinder our progress in life. There are powers that are causing right now. You want to say, Daddy, today by the special grace of God, I silence that power right now. Any power that has been given the mandate to cause and to hinder our, our growth in life, today I silence that power right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I destroy that mandate right now. I destroy the agenda by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, go before the Most High God to everyone that is watching me right now. Go before the Most High God and begin to destroy any power that is begin giving the mandate to cause you and to hinder your progress in life. Command the fire of God right now. You can never be caused. You are in Christ, a new creation. So I stand upon the authority of that war. You power that are giving the mandate to cause me and to hinder my progress in life. I cause you this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause you by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause you by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone rejects you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone rejects you right now. So every mandate of cause or causes in my life, every mandate of, of cause or causes in my life, every mandate of in that, in that progress right now, today, right now, I decree the fire of God upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Let them be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter the causes or the cause or causes right now. We are free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever the Son of God is set free is indeed free. So I decree and I decree declare to everyone that is watching me right now if mandates were being given to powers right now to cause you and to hinder your progress in life i destroy the mandate by the fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of the lord jesus christ holy ghost i destroy the mandate the mandate of causes the mandate of to hinder your progress i destroy by the fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of the lord jesus christ holy ghost i destroy right now in the name of jesus holy ghost i destroy right now in the name of jesus holy ghost i destroy right now in the name of jesus you want to command the padlock that is holding your life down to be released right now. We unlock that padlock. Let the fire of God right now. Let it unlock that padlock right now. The padlock that is holding your life down. They said until when that padlock opens that way you'll be released. We are not commanding just that padlock to open. We are commanding the fire of the Lord to destroy that padlock right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And to every to the person that has actually locked the padlock be it a man or a woman. Let them receive the fire of the Lord right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go before the most high God to every padlock holding down your progress. I command right now the fire of the Lord right now to destroy that padlock right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to every padlock that is holding my progress down to every padlock that is holding the progress of my children my wife down I command the fire of the Lord right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the Bible says if the, if the Lord set us free if the Son of God set us free we are free indeed I decree and I declare padlocks are broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the power of suddenly is going to take place this very hour in my life in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the foundation of the prison right now is shaken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The foundation is destroyed and the prison is the, the, the cell is open in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Victory comes upon our life this time in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, command the Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire to consume every witchcraft power using the snail to delay your manifestation of glory. Command the Holy Ghost fire to consume it right now. Every witchcraft power that is using the snail spirit to disturb your manifestation of your glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that is using that spirit to delay the manifestation of your glory today by the power in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ every witchcraft power using the snail spirit right now to delay the manifestation of your glory of my glory let the fire of the Lord destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every power of the enemy that is using the that, to, that is using the snail spirit to delay the manifestation of my glory today catch fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ catch fire command the fire of the Lord upon such a spirit right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ command the Lord the fire of the law upon such a power right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every witchcraft power that is causing it that is using spirit of delay or spirit of snail spirit to delay the manifestation of your glory command the fire of the Lord right now Holy Ghost fire Holy Ghost fire go forth right now set me free O Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ whatever is using the snail spirit to delay the manifestation of my glory let the fire of the Lord destroy right now let the fire of the Lord destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I am free I am free begin to declare your Free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you are free in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ whatever power be it from the north from the south from the east from the west that is using a snail spirit to delay to delay the manifestation of your glory today I command the fire of the Lord upon you right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Holy Ghost fire Holy Ghost fire Holy Ghost fire destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Holy Ghost fire destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Holy Ghost fire destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you want to go before the Most High God you have entered into this very spiritual warfare hallelujah you have entered and the power of the Lord entered with you hallelujah the power of the Lord entered into you so every of your word they are honored and they are answered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you want to go before the Most High God you want to command every yoke of rising and falling you want to command that yoke to break right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every yoke of rising and falling in my life I command that yoke be broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let that yoke receive Holy Ghost fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let the fire of the Lord come upon that yoke right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every spirit of rising and falling in my life around my life in my household I command the fire of the Lord to destroy right now let the fire of the Lord destroy that yoke in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah the power of rising and falling the yoke of rising and falling is being destroyed in my life today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's been destroyed in the love of those who are watching me right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every yoke of rising and falling they are destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ from today forward ever backward never in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree in my life in your life right now forward ever backward never in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree as a servant of the living God in my life in your life forward never never backward never that yoke is destroyed right now the yoke of rising and falling in my life in your life is destroyed this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ command that yoke to be pulled down in the name of Jesus command that yoke to be destroyed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus we have entered an hour that is of the law an hour that is of the law and the power of the Lord enter this hour with us so begin to destroy that yoke the yoke of rising and falling destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the yoke of rising and falling destroy right now the yoke of promise and fail begin to destroy your life this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the yoke of promise and fail begin to destroy right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ begin to destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ begin to destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus I destroy right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ well after the after the after the the the, 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 the close of the line uh this morning somebody called because because God actually told me said somebody actually slept in the shrine a brother called before the start of this service I prayed with him a brother called the morning that morning immediately then I asked him to call 6 p.m. or yesterday yeah and he called he, he told me he said he said yeah that he slept in the shrine for days hear me well I decree and I declare as a servant of the living God on any occasion at all I command every power of snail hallelujah every power of snail that either the witch doctor might have used to assign for your life they have used for you or are still using against you wherever such a thing is kept right now every power that has been slowing your progress down every power that has been controlling you right from the shrine i ask the fire of the lord to go forth right now and destroy that power right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i hear a word in my spirit right now every name they've given to you in that realm right now the moment they pronounce they call that name you answer to him maleka yanerable i ask for the fire of the lord right now to destroy that name right now from today you cease to, to, to be called by that name in the name of the lord jesus christ from today you cease to be to, to, to be called by that name from today you cease to be answered by that name in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ every name of of evil that are being that we are being called that are not the name that are given to you by your parents and when they call that name you honor that name immediately from this very hour I address that name right now and I destroy that name by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will never honor that name again. You will never be called by that name again. You will never honor that name again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Irrespective of wherever they are calling the name from, Malera Bolekaya, you will not honor that name again in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today, you cease to honor to, to be called by that name in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever name they're using against you, whatever power they're using against you, whatever any hour of the night they 
they hold that power in order to curse you. Cause the curse will go back to them in the name of your will go back onto their children in the name of your if they want to use that power to manipulate your life to death as the reason of the anointing. The Jehovah entered into the battle with us right now. He's the one fighting the battle. He's our battle heart. To death as the reason of the anointing, that power is crushed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever is using that power, they are crushed right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are set free today. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you want to go before the Most High God. You want to command any strange river connecting your destiny to the spirit nail. Spirit snail. Every strange river that is connecting your destiny to the spirit or uh, snail. Command the fire of the Lord right now. Command that snail strange river to cease right now. In that to dry up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me well. Every strange river that is connecting your destiny to the spirit snail. Command that river to dry up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That river. I command you dry up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the river to dry up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that river to dry up right now. Every connection of that river with the snail spirit fought against my life. I command the river to dry up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, concerning your life, every connection of that river with the snail spirit, I command that river to dry up in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, fire of the Holy Ghost right now, dry up the river. The Bible said, and then and the fire licked up the water. I call upon the Holy Ghost fire right now to lick up that water right now. Let it lick up the water right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire lick up the water right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command right now, as a servant of the living God, let the river dry up right now. Every river that is connected to the rest of the spirit snail that is actually afflicting you right now, I command the river to dry up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that river dry up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command the river to dry up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire, destroy every sluggishness at the edge of every breakthrough in our life. In the name, you know, I told you, I said the spirit of snail come with sluggishness. So I want to decree in your life and in my life right now. Holy Ghost fire. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost right now to destroy every sluggishness at the edge of our breakthrough. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the spirit of sluggishness at the edge of our breakthrough. Holy Ghost fire destroy right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every spirit of sluggishness at the edge of our breakthrough. Holy Ghost fire destroy right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, destroy right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command the fire of God to destroy right now. To every sluggishness at the edge of our breakthrough. Let the fire of God destroy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in your life, Bridget. In the fire of God destroy. Oh, 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 the fire of God destroy. Joy Santo, fire of God destroy. Pretty May, fire of God destroy. Don't F it. I command the fire of God to destroy right now. Tracy Bright, let the fire of God destroy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire destroy right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit of backwardness and stagnance, stagnation in your life that is haunting, that is haunting every of your destiny. Today, by the special grace of God, Holy Ghost fire come upon you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit of backwardness and, st and stagnation haunting after your destiny your destiny that is actually until after your destiny i command the fire of god right now to go forth right now and destroy in the name of the lord jesus christ begin to move forward in life in the name of the lord jesus christ begin to do wonderful things in life in the name of the lord jesus christ begin to do great in life in the name of the lord jesus christ so every spirit of backwardness in your life i come against it by the fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of the lord jesus christ every spirit of stagnation i come against it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ begin to move forward in life begin to move forward the life, begin to move forward the life, begin to move forward the life in the name of the Lord. Your every spirit of unnecessary delay in your life. I command the thunder of the Lord. I command the thunder fire of the Lord to swallow right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every spirit of unnecessary delay in your life right now. Let the fire of the Lord let it swallow it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire swallow. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire, fire, swallow it. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of unnecessary delay in your life, I command the fire of the Lord to swallow. Every spirit of unnecessary delay, I command the fire of the Lord to swallow. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when it's your turn, they will ask you to sit down and call somebody else. Every spirit of delay, oh, unnecessary delay in your life, I command the fire of God. Holy Ghost, fire, swallow it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today as I speak, you will no longer experience unnecessary delay in life. In the mighty name of the Lord your journey life shall be smooth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you begin to attend and expand the life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ every spirit of unnecessary delay I reject in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I paralyze any powers of delay assigned to, to your breakthrough any powers of delay that is assigned to your breakthrough I paralyze it by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ everyone that is watching me right now any power that is assigned to your breakthrough I paralyze
paralyze them right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I paralyze the activity. I paralyze the activity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, any power of delay that is assigned to your breakthrough, I paralyze the activity right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, find the Lord Almighty to every power or any power of delay that is assigned to a breakthrough. I paralyze the activity right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, break forth in life. In the name of Jesus, break through in life. In the name of the Lord, your destiny is secure in Christ in God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, begin to break through. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every cause of covenant spoken over your life with the spirit of over the with the spirit of snail. Today, right now, I counsel you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every cause of causes that were placed upon your life by the spirit of snail, I counsel you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I begin to move forward. Begin to move forward the life. Begin to move forward the life. Begin to move forward the life. You will not be a late comer in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not be a late comer in life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, move forward the life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, move forward the life. In the name of you, be, be ever first in life. In the mighty name of the Lord, be ever first in life. In any gathering, they will spot you for greatness. They will spot you for lifting. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree upon your life as a servant of the Lord, begin to reject right now. This very hour, reject every spirit of late, uh, lateness and, 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 and every spirit of lateness in your life. Begin to reject it right now. Every spirit of lateness, I reject in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, begin to reject it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every spirit of lateness in goodness or miracle, begin to reject it right now. Every spirit of lateness in the time of goodness and in the time of miracle, reject it right now. Every spirit of lateness, I reject in my life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in love those who are watching me, Malera Bole I reject in your life every spirit of lateness in time in time of goodness and miracle. I reject in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every power of lateness. I reject it in your life. In the name of the Lord, in the time of your goodness, in the time of your miracle, in the time of your moving forward, every spirit of lateness, I reject it in your life this hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I counsel every activities and power of the spirit of snail in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every activity and the power of the spirit of snail in your life, I counsel them by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I counsel them by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I counsel them by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power and activity of snail spirit in your life, I counsel them by fire of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command every power prolonging your journey to breakthrough to fall right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to every power that is prolonging your journey to breakthrough. Hmm. Every power that is prolonging your journey to breakthrough. Wherever you're speaking from, whatever they are placing on you as blood, every sacrifice they are giving to you every single time. I rend the fire of the Lord right now upon such a sacrifice right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask for the lion of the tribe of Judah to swallow that sacrifice up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the power of the Lord, let it swallow that sacrifice up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command the fire of the Lord upon every power that is prolonging your journey to breakthrough to fall right now. Let that power begin to fall. Fall right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Fall right now. In the name of Jesus, for right now, in the name of Jesus, every power that is prolonging our journey to breakthrough, I command the power to fall. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command the power to fall. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command the power to fall. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command the power to fall. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hear me well. Whatsoever they are offering to that God right now, whatsoever they are giving to that God right now, in order for your journey to be delayed in life, in order for you to never to break through. Oh, God said. The gods has not created the heavens and the earth shall perish under the heart. Rabona Kayan Nobalio and the ground that the idol is standing upon. The Bible said, Have, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Makali biataka. 
I command the ground to open and swallow that idol right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The gods has not created the heavens and the earth shall perish under the heart. So I command the heart to open right now and consume that idol in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is your time to break through. It is your time to break through. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is your time to break through. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome the bulldozer of heaven. The bulldozer of heaven. To destroy every demonic roadblock. In your life this hour. Let the power of the Lord. The thunder of the Lord. Let it destroy right now. Every demonic roadblock. In your life right now. I command the fire and the power of the Lord. To destroy right now. Every demonic roadblock. In your life right now. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire consume right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire of God destroy right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, I destroy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, destroy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every wasted season in your life, every wasted seconds in your life, every wasted minutes in your life, every wasted hours in your life, every wasted day in your life, every wasted week in your life, every wasted month in your life, every wasted years in your life. Every wasted opportunity in your life, I command restoration back upon them right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak as the sound of the living God. Every wasted season in your life, every wasted second in your life, every wasted minutes in your life, every wasted hours in your life, every wasted days in your life, every wasted week in your weeks in your life, every wasted months in your life, every wasted years in your life, every wasted opportunities and lifting up in your life. Let the restoration come back upon your life right now. In in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The barrier of limitation is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Hey. The barrier of limitation is broken in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is broken. In the name of Jesus. The barrier of limitations is broken in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every pattern of stubborn delay in your family. The, the, the pattern of stubborn delay that delayed your great grandfather. That delayed your, your father. That delayed you, you. That is about to delay you right now. Because there has been a family in hereditary or in inheritance. Every stubborn delay, every pattern of stubborn delay that is in your family that is actually looking to you right now in order to hold you down. Your area is no go area. It permitted no one to do you wrong. Every tree that God has not planted shall be uprooted. So you this pattern of family delay pattern of stubborn family delay go back to hell in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ go back to hell in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ to every stop pattern of stubborn family delay I command you go back to hell in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ go back to hell in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ every unfriendly friends that are planted into your life in order to frustrate your destiny I arrest them by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every unfriendly friends planted in your life to frustrate your destiny, may Jehovah expose them and arrest them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command Jehovah to expose them and arrest them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Ghost fire destroy every power drawing you back from your journey in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any power that is drawing you back, hallelujah, from your journey of life. Let the fire of the Lord destroy right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not fall sick before heaven announce your glory. You will not fall sick before heaven announce you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not fall sick before the day heaven will announce your glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will add increase to your works, in, to your work in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will have, add increase to it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Jehovah will add increase to it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will have profitability to your work in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your work on planet Earth shall not be in vain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will have profitability into it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will announce your progress this month, this very hour, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your progress will be announced by God himself. This very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will promote you and preserve your life. This very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your progress, your promotion is coming this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever the Son of God is set free is free indeed. You are free indeed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So a special announcement is coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Your glory is going to be announced today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your promotion and God will preserve your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree profitability in your, in your work in the, to your work in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let profitability come upon your work in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Let increase come upon you to your work in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every we announce you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every we announce you today. Hey, I hear word of my spirit. When David killed Goliath, David was never the king. Hear me well. Every we announce you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. David was never the king then. It was Saul. But the Bible said, and all the women in, in Israel, they came out. They started singing. They said, Saul killed in thousand. David kills in ten thousand. Killed in ten thousand. Saul killed in thousand and David killed in ten thousand. Imagine. At that very hour, they announced David as king. Even before he was crowned. At that very hour, they rejected the present king. Because the glory of the Lord announced David at that very hour. The glory of the Lord will announce you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord will move you forward today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord will be with you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The way David was announced, you will be announced in the name of... It is your turn, it is your hour. No one can stop it, no one can kill it, no one can hinder it, no one can stop that. In whoever dares it will die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They said, Saul kill in thousands and David kills in ten thousand. At that very hour, they, they rejected the king at that very hour. And they actually appointed David at that very hour. Even before David was crowned, he was being honored by the entire uh, the, 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 the women. Today, by the special grace of God, honor comes upon your life. Honor comes into your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and unmerited favor enter into you, enters into your life right now in the mighty name of the Lord. Wherever you go, you shall be announced for greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are wherever you enter, you'll be announced for upliftment in the name of the Lord. Wherever you enter, the, the lifter will see you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is your time. It is your turn. You will not miss it. You will not fail in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are set free. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On your mark. Get set. And you go now. In the name of Jesus. No one can hold you down again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This life is a race. And you will excel. You will do great. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will excel. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We excel. This life is a race. You will excel in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you do, and there shall be testimonies. Begin to give God all the glory, desire, giving thanks, giving praise. Father Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory, O oh God. I exalt your name on I, O oh Lord, you alone, you are wonderful. Give him all the glory. Give him all the thanks. Hallelujah. I thank you for the answered prayer. I thank you for the testimonies, O oh Lord. I thank you for setting us free, O oh Lord. It can only be you, O oh Lord. God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Lord, I bless your name, O Lord. You are wonderful. Thank you so much for your faithfulness, O Lord. Thank you for your love, O Lord. Thank you for being our God. We love you from the bottom of our heart, O Lord. Thank you for the testimony on ground. Thank you for a great release, O Lord. Thank you for the shackles you have broken. Thank you for the lords that you
you have destroyed. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, Lord. We worship you. We bless your name, O Lord. We are thanking you for this morning, O Lord. We are thanking you for this hour, O Lord, that is our is our hours, O Lord. We thank you because no power is permitted to fly, no power is permitted to gather, no power is permitted to talk. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the glory for sealing up their mouth, Lord Almighty, and all these powers, Lord. I thank you for actually sending them back to hell until the day of judgment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you because we are overcomers, oh Lord. I give you all the glory, oh God. Thank you for the testimony of life. Thank you for the love of our children. Thank you for the love of our husbands and wives. Thank you for the love of our sisters and brothers. Thank you for the love of our parents right now. We adore you, Lord. Thank you for our dreams, our sleep tonight, oh Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you because of your protection. The Bible says as the mountains are run about Jerusalem, the Lord is run about his people. Thank you for building a wall of fire around us this hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you because no sickness or death will enter in our dwelling. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for turning our house into the citadel of God's power. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate you, Lord. And to everyone that is hearing me and watch and, and, and see me right now, Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. We said you are God. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you're wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for our lives. Hallelujah. For our families. I give God the glory for everyone's life. I want to appreciate God for your life this very hour. The day, the third day of the night uh, 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 prayer meeting. Today is the third day of the night prayer meeting. And I want to thank God for the testimonies that is on ground in your life, in my life, in your family, in my family, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I give God all the glory. What a wonderful God. What a loving God. What a good God. We appreciate you, Daddy. You are wonderful. You are mighty and you are excellent. The more mighty man of war, the one who entered into the battle with us this very hour, we appreciate you, Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord. I bless you, Lord. You are holy and forever you are God. In my life, forever you are God. In love of joy, you are God. In love of favor, you are God. In love of Tracy Bright, you are God. In love of uh, Donefe, you are God. In love of Bridget or Sibbeme, you are God. In love of favor, Jonah, you are God. In love of Larava Komi, Lord, you are God. In love of Ibido Sali, you are God. In love of Blessing Koroma, you are God. In love of Joe Uriah Zoa, you are God. In the name of Jesus. In love of Evangelist Elizabeth Agawa, you are God. In love of Mr. Stanley, you are God. You are God and you make God forever. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We appreciate you, Lord, who is like unto thee. We search for eternity that is not like you. You are a faithful God. You are a wonderful Father. You are a loving God. We bless your name, O Lord. We bless your name, O Lord. We give you all the glory. In love of your Santos, you are God. In love of lovely Jovi Ransom, you are God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In love of Larala Komibi Salu, you remain God forever. In love of Honor, you remain God forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In love of Andre Nico, you are God. In our family, you are God. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the the name of the Lord, you is such to eternity. No one like you, no one can be likened to you or compared to you. You remain God said in glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In love, of favor, blessing, you are God. In love, I deal me for where you are God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In love, Evangelist Elizabeth, you are God in the name of Jesus. You are God in the mighty name of the Lord. Jesus. We bless the Lord, O Lord. I bless the Lord, you are holy and forever. You are God in love, Esther Felix. You are God. I bless the Lord for your life, everyone that is, that is watching right now i bless the lord for your life thank you ma it is well with every single one of you god richly bless you have a wonderful night have a blessed dream in the name of the lord jesus christ like i said no one is permitted to enter into your dream somebody called me um i will not put it okay let me put it clear uh the first day of the program first or second day of the program first day of the program if you go back and check God actually spoke. I said a particular minister. I oh, sorry. Go back and listen. I said a particular minister. Go back and look at the first day. God said a particular minister. God said he wants to surprise that minister. I really want to show you something. A breakthrough and the, the power of deliverance has come into your life. And I didn't want to mention the name of the minister because why? I, I didn't want to mention. I said, this minister, something, God said, I have come to set you free. Hallelujah. God said, I have come to set you free. And, 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 and the minister now called yesterday. Three days ago was the word. The word that came three days ago. Yeah, yeah. And, God now, and the minister now called, as we were talking, he was just telling me a different thing. 
and I laughed. I said, do you know that it was actually you? And that very hour, he said, he said <laughs> at that very hour, he said, at the time I mentioned it, the gospel, that he knew that it was him. And he said, that night, hear me well to everyone that is watching me right now, there's going to be a visitation of the Lord. Yes, uh, thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. There's going to be a visitation from above in your dream today, and God will slaughter certain people in your life. Hear me well. And the brother said it was in the dream, and he saw a tree as human being. This is the second time now people seen a tree. That he saw a tree standing as human being. Said the tree was so big, mighty. And he was praying and praying and praying and praying that God pulled this tree down. God pulled it. And immediately he said, Hear me well. When you see a man of God in your dream, God is the is, is actually God that's using the, 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 the body of that person, not me. I don't want to take the glory of the, 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 the glory of the Lord. And he said, He now saw me in the dream. And I, I told him, I said, That wasn't me, that was God using my, the, my body. He said, in that very moment, he said, he said and, and God now said, you this tree be uprooted and die immediately. And the tree will be, the tree was uprooted from down from the knee. And the tree fell down and died. He said, there was no breath on that tree again. And that day, mm, we thank God, though, something happened. Though, and I don't want to go further. He will tell you. Hey, <laughs> somebody, Pafuka. Whoever will not let you go today, the third day, weeping, mourning, gnashing of teeth will enter into their family this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <sighs> whoever will not let you be, whoever will not let you be, weeping and gnashing of teeth, sorrow will enter into their family. This morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever will not let you be. We are serving the living God. Living, living and powerful God. The one who declares the end from the beginning. The one who sits in glory. The one, the Bible says thousands of thousands of thousands of angels are worshipping day and night. We serve the living God, the author of life. The one who created even the principalities and powers. Whoever will not let you be, I place my calling now. Let weeping and gnashing and mourning actually happen in their family tonight, this morning, in the name of Jesus. Let it happen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever will not let you be, whoever will not let you be, whoever will not let you be, I don't care. Whoever will not let you, whoever will not allow you to be in the better position that God has already prepared for you, whoever will not allow you to ever move forward in life, whoever is saying never will you ever move forward until I release you. Ah, 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 ah. Mm. Until you release. You right now, you are being changed down permanently to die in the name of Jesus. And your death will not be automatic or immediate. You will suffer until you die. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Until who release you? You that will blossom like a tree in the morning and fade away in the evening. Human being, to hell with your life. You're boasting right now. To hell with the power that you're boasting with. May you over swallow you up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Akaya bole akaya. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we come to trust in the name of our Lord our God. Who are you mounting before the children of God? Who are you before Joy Santos? You this mounting. Who are you before Onome? 
Who are you before Joel Luatosi? Who are you before Bridget Asigwebe? Who are you before blessing? Favor blessing. Who are you before before he did the Yamu? Who are you before pray, uh, pray the Meg? You shall become a plague. I command as a servant of the living God. Whoever will not allow you go after this, the ground will call them and they will honor the ground. I summon their spiritual obituary and transition out in the realm of the spirit right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A mere man, a great guy, you are cursed forever. A mere human being, talk like God. Ah, <laughs> there is no gentleman in the war front. I no be gentleman at all. Oh. There is no gentleman, no gentle, no gentle. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. The, I'm not. I'm not a man that will beg the devil to hell. Kilo day, what's your problem? You hold someone around someone and you want them to come and beg you. Tanya, who are you? I cause your spiritual obituary out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He let me, me. Let the ground swallow you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <sighs> Even the power that you trusted on. Let that power right now. Let it come to, 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 to ground. Enter the ground and perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Tanya. Who are you? Who are you? The families do fear because of what you carry. You carry. I didn't see you. You don't exist. You vanish immediately. You disappear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every power bow before the Lord Jesus Christ. Your power is of no effect from these very hours I speak. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your right of existence is taken from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life is withdrawn right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Great things he has done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let no man trouble you. Because you bear the mark of Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let no man trouble you. Because you bear the mark of Christ. Silver so blessing let no man trouble you. Don't effing let no man trouble you. Did he me? Let no man trouble you. Bridget Asigbe me. Let no man trouble you because you bear the mark of Christ. Joyce Sanders, let no man trouble you because you bear the mark of Christ. Oh, Monori did let no man trouble you because you bear the mark of Christ. Joe, Joe, Oria, let no man trouble you because you bear the mark of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Blessing Kurman, let no man trouble you because you bear the mark of Christ. Man. <laughs> Man and God. At times, I look at the stupidity and the and, and and the stupidity of these powers. I look at the stupidities of these witches and wizards that will rot in hell, fighting God. But if you're cool, you want to die. Whatever power you are being given, whatever increase or whatever position you represent in the realm of the spirit in your covenant, 
May Jehovah deprive you of your weapon right now in the name of Jesus. Let every authority be stripped away from you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood of the Lord Jesus, and may you die right now in the name of Jesus. Agbara Shuda, Nibi TJ Subain Java, Agbara Shuda, Osio Otiwo. You cannot stand before the presence of the Lord. You cannot. You are a non entity, a bastard from hell. You cannot. Hmm. Hallelujah. Father Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I lift up your name on high for your wonderful. Thank you for your faithfulness, O oh Lord. Thank you for now. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for building a wall of fire around us, O oh Lord. Thank you because in you we live, in you we move, and you we have a being. Your word said you will pant and gaps at the same time. Thank you for destroying every shackles and the lock. Thank you, thank you for scattering every gathering of the wicked one. Thank you for sealing them up. Thank you for the love that you have for us, O oh Lord. Thank you for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that we are soaked in the blood right now. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the deliverance that is in the house right now. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you for powers yawning right now because you've chained them down until the day of judgment before you be judged. Thank you because you've chained them down. Thank you because no one is permitted to enter into the affairs of our lives again. Thank you because no one is permitted to hold us down again. Thank you because if the Son of God set us free, we are free indeed. Thank you for giving us the freedom back again. Lord, I appreciate you, Lord. Thank you for the testimony, Lord. Thank you for the joy of the Lord as our strength. Mm -mm. Said if our mothers and father forgive, forget us, you take care of us. Whatever they've taken to the shrine by a particular parent, a father took a name of one of the child to, to the shrine. And this man don't they, this man and the mother and the mother of this particular person they don't live together again. They don't they don't they live together. They're, they're separated. Hmm. You are playing with death. Nothing will happen. If you are not careful, you'll be the one that will die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you. Thank you because you are God. Thank you because you are God. Thank you for your awesome presence now. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Chains are broken. But somebody that chain was actually placed on his neck, a man. And they, they move you, they take they take you or, 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 or you know as the way they take the dog for a walk. Chains are broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Chains are broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Release comes upon your person right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Breakthrough in every areas of your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mercy locates you today. 
<laughs> Thank you, Lord. You're wonderful. Hallowed be your name, Lord. You are God. We appreciate you. Let every man, every woman, let us witness this uh, three day uh, program. Let them experience testimonies. Let them see joy, breakthrough. Let doors be open unto them. Doors of breakthrough, doors of testimony. Doors of, doors of favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Doors of increase in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever is actually watching me right now, you have a pain in your eardrum. Let there be a release right now in the name of Jesus. Daddy, release such a person right now by his stripe. They are healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have pain in your eardrum. Lord, let a release come right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heal the person, Lord, by his stripe. Heal them, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you, you are God. <laughs> Everyone is rejoicing with us, you are God. We appreciate you, Lord. Heaven is rejoicing with us. Lord, we appreciate you. We bless you. You are God. You are not a man. We bless your name, O oh Lord. I bless the Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. Mm. We bless your name, O oh Lord. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the adoration, Lord. In Jesus mighty name let every man every woman that is watching me right now daddy let them begin to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Holy Spirit enter into everyone let them feel your presence right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ daddy let them feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice I decree as a servant of the living God let them begin to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I saw a woman right now feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. Let them begin to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit and let the touch of the Lord come upon them right now. Father, Lord Almighty, begin to touch everyone right now. Let them feel your presence right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Speak. He sent for this word and his word. He let, let your presence go forth right now. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit go forth right now. Let them begin to feel it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit right now go forth right now. Let them begin to feel the presence of the Lord right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I want to thank God for your lives. I really do appreciate God for your life. And I thank God for this very wonderful hour. I thank God for God setting us free. Hallelujah. It can only be God. Don't mix anything serving God. God is God. God is not a respect of person. Yes, so oh Lord. There shall be showers of blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't mix God with anything. God will remain God forever. Don't dip your hands into things that will not give God the glory. I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will remain God forever. Imagine, I imagine people actually using other things to support themselves. And we, uh, may the power of the Lord come upon our life for us to know God more, far more better than now. I see a lot, a lot that are using certain things to support themselves. Certain things that are being given to them by herbalists. And I want to ask a question. God created the things the herbalists gave you. Is it the, the, the leaves are they mixed together, the animals, the killed and the blood? Why don't you just drop the abalis and go to the creator? <laughs> Why don't you just drop drop the abalis and go let the abalis now? Abalis will begin to leave their shrine and will begin to be house meat by the special grace of God. All abalis will begin to leave shrine. 
and they will turn to us to meet in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why go to Abalis where you can go meet your maker? All that the Abalis are actually mixing, God created all. And the reason why Lord do visit Abalis is because they are, they are, I will put it, they, they don't know God. They are attention seekers. They want people to pray for them without them not actually praying for themselves. No. God will, do, God will always do his own part. You will do your own part as well. No. There's no journey that is smooth, rough, or good that you never end up in the, desti uh, the destination. Tread gently. God is God. God is God. God is God. God is God. Let's stop believing in mere human beings. Trust all in the Lord. Trust all in the Lord. You can cause things that were not as though they were. Your relationship with God matters a lot. If you don't know the, the people that are actually visiting their bodies and they call themselves Christians and they still visit, but these are the ones who don't have a relationship with God. We cannot serve mammon and serve God together. We cannot. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. You only serve the Lord Jesus. Or that we do want to compare the two. No. You cannot compare God to any other thing on planet Earth. God remains God, the author of life, the creator of heaven and earth. The one who said, let there be. The things the Abalis are using right now, in the, even the Abalis, came into existence by the word of God. Let there be. Kabula kaya kaya Trust on the Lord with all your heart and let God direct your path. That's the way that seems right to a man. And at the end of it is a way of destruction. Hold on to the faithfulness of God. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Solution comes upon me. Why is it that a number of people that are wealthy, rich men are dying? And you that, are, that you are going through one particular situation, you are calling on to death. Death didn't see you. There's a plan and a purpose for your life. You cannot die before your time. No. God will accomplish it. God will fulfill it. God will finish it. He's not a God that would do a thing and leave it half done. No. It's God. When God starts a thing, God finishes that thing. It's God. Check the world. Genesis chapter 1, from verses 1 to 31. There was nothing left untouched. Nothing you can ever think of on planet Earth right now. Everything came out from let there be. As I speak to you right now as the servant of the living God, I welcome the power of let there be into your life. And such word from the Lord will do great and mighty things in your life. It will kill, it will bless, and it will destroy. Bless you, destroy every works of darkness in your life. Let there be. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. We worship you. We love you. We love you. Even if those who are worship who are see me right now, hear me, don't love you. Daddy, I love you. Because I know you are God. Amen. Hallelujah. Appreciate God for some of your life. It is well. Let's try as much as possible to share this very uh, illustration. Hallelujah. 
We have friends that will actually that God is going to uh, lift them up from this. So let's try as much as possible to share it. And as you do that, God will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you do that, the glory of the Lord will not depart from your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No mother will use their hand to bury their children in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak all our children in the pool of the blood of Jesus. No weapon from the fashion they give shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak all the men and women that are watching around our family members in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I decree it is well with you in the name of Jesus. Have a wonderful night. Have a glorious rest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And have a visitation from above from the Lord tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well with you. And remember tonight, even in your closet, hallelujah, pray for myself and my family. Even it's only 10 seconds, 20 seconds will do. We appreciate it, hallelujah. I also need your prayers as well. So we appreciate you. And as you do that, God bless you. Have a wonderful night. I love you all. And it is well within Jesus' name. Amen.